succinate dehydrogenase or succinate coenzyme Q reductase or respiratory complex 2 is an enzyme complex, bound to the inner mitochondrial membrane of mammalian mitochondria and many bacterial cells. It is the only enzyme that participates in both the citric acid cycle and the electron transport chain. In step 6 of the citric acid cycle, SQ catalyzes the oxidation of succinate to fumarate with the reduction of ubiquinin to erbicinol. This occurs in the inner mitochondrial membrane by coupling the two reactions together. Structure equals subunits equals mammalian mitochondrial and many bacterial monomer SQRs are composed of four subunits, two hydrophilic and two hydrophobic. The first two subunits, a flavor protein and an iron sulfur protein, are hydrophilic. SDHA contains a covalently attached flavonid N and dinucleotide cofactor and the succinate binding site and SDHB contains three iron sulfur clusters, 2 Fe 2 s 4 Fe 4 s and 3 Fe 4 seconds. The second two subunits are hydrophobic membrane anchor subunits, SDHC and SDHD. Human mitochondria contain two distinct isoforms of SDHA, these isoforms are also found in Ascaris sumum kenarabditis elegans. The subunits form a membrane-bound cytochrome B complex with six transmembrane helices containing one heme B group and a ubiquinin binding site, which can be seen in image 4. Two phospholipid molecules, one cardiolipin and one phosphatidylithinolamine, are also found in the SDHC and SDHD subunits. They serve to occupy the hydrophobic space below the heme B. These subunits are displayed in image 3. SDHA is green, SDHB is teal, SDHC is fuchsia, and SDHD is yellow. Around SDHC and SDHD is a phospholipid membrane with the intermembrane space at the top of the image. Table of subunit composition. Equals ubiquinin binding site equals Ubiquinonia Euro unregistered trademark S binding site, image 4, is located in a gap composed of SDHB, SDHC, and SDHD. Ubiquinin is stabilized by the side chains of his duo 7 of subunit B, SER 27 and ARG 31 of subunit C, and TIR 83 of subunit D. The quinine ring is surrounded by IL 28 of subunit C and PRO 160 of subunit B. These residues along with IL-209, TRP-163, and TRP-164 of subunit B, and SER-27 of subunit C, form the hydrophobic environment of the quinine binding pocket. Equals succinate binding site equals, SDHA provides the binding site for the oxidation of succinate. The side chains THR-254, HIS-354, and ARG-399 of subunit A stabilize the molecule while FA deoxidizes and carries the electrons to the first of the iron sulfur clusters, 2 Fe 2 s This can be seen in image 5. Equals redox centers equals, the succinate binding site and ubiquinin binding site are connected by a chain of redox centers including FAD and the iron sulfur clusters. This chain extends over 40 through the enzyme monomer. All edge-to-edge -edge distances between the centers are less than the suggested 14 a limit for physiological electron transfer. This electron transfer is demonstrated in image 8. Mechanism equals succinate oxidation equals, little is known about the exact succinate oxidation mechanism. However, the crystal structure shows that FAD, GLU-255, ARG-286, and his 242 of subunit A are good candidates for the initial deprotonation step. Thereafter, there are two possible elimination mechanisms, E2 or E1CB. In the E2 elimination, the mechanism is concerted. The basic residual cofactor deprotonates the alpha carbon, and FAD accepts the hydride from the beta carbon, oxidizing the bound succinate to fumarate euro refer to image 6. In E1CB, an enolate intermediate is formed, shown in image 7, before FAD accepts the hydride. Further research is required to determine which elimination mechanism succinate undergoes in succinate dehydrogenase. Oxidized fumarate, now loosely bound to the active site, is free to exit the protein. 
equals electron tunneling equals, after the electrons are derived from succinate oxidation via FAD, they tunnel along the Fe S relay until they reach the 3 Fe 4 S cluster. These electrons are subsequently transferred to an awaiting ubiquinin molecule within the active site. The iron sulfur electron tunneling system is shown in image 9. Equals ubiquinin reduction equals. The O1 carbonyl oxygen of ubiquinin is oriented at the active site by hydrogen bond interactions with TIR83 of subunit D. The presence of electrons in the 3 Fe 4 S iron sulfur cluster induces the movement of ubiquinin into a second orientation. This facilitates a second hydrogen bond interaction between the O4 carbonyl group of ubiquinin and SER27 of subunit C following the first single electron reduction step, a semikinin radical species is formed. The second electron arrives from the 3 Fe 4 S cluster to provide full reduction of the ubiquinin to ubiquinol. This mechanism of the ubiquinin reduction is shown in image 8. Equals heme prosthetic group equals, although the functionality of the heme and succinate dehydrogenase is still being researched, some studies have asserted that the first electron delivered to ubiquinin via 3 Fe 4 S may tunnel back and forth between the heme and the ubiquinin intermediate. In this way, the heme cofactor acts as an electron sink. Its role is to prevent the interaction of the intermediate with molecular oxygen to produce reactive oxygen species. The heme group, relative to ubiquinin, is shown in image 4. It has also been proposed that a gating mechanism may be in place to prevent the electrons from tunneling directly to the heme from the 3 Fe 4 S cluster. A potential candidate is residue His 207, which lies directly between the cluster and the heme. His 207 of subunit B is in direct proximity to the 3 Fe 4 S cluster, the bound ubiquinin, and the heme, and could modulate electron flow between these redox centers. Equals proton transfer equals, to fully reduce the quinine in SQR, two electrons as well as two protons are needed. It has been argued that a water molecule arrives at the active site and is coordinated by His 207 of subunit B. ARG-31 of subunit C, and ASP-82 of subunit D. The semikinin species is protonated by protons delivered from HOH-39, completing the ubiquinin reduction to ubiquinol. His 207 and ASP-82 most likely facilitate this process. Other studies claim that TIR-83 of subunit D is coordinated to a nearby histidine as well as the O1 carbonyl oxygen of ubiquinin. The histidine residue decreases the pKa of tyrosine, making it more suitable to donate its proton to the reduced ubiquinin intermediate. Inhibitors There are two distinct classes of inhibitors of complex II, those that bind in the succinate pocket and those that bind in the ubiquinin pocket. Ubiquinin type inhibitors include carboxin and phenyltrifluoroacetone. Succinate analog inhibitors include the synthetic compound molinate as well as the TCA cycle intermediates, malate and oxalocetate. Indeed, oxalocetate is one of the most potent inhibitors of complex II. Why a common TCA cycle intermediate would inhibit complex II is not entirely understood, though it may exert a protective role in minimizing reverse electron transfer mediated production of superoxide by complex I. Ubiquinin type inhibitors have been used as fungicides in agriculture since the 1960s. Carboxin was mainly used to control disease caused by basidiomycetes such as stem rusts and rhizoctonia diseases. More recently, other compounds with a broader spectrum against a range of plant pathogens have been developed, including boscalid. Pentheopirad and Fluipirum. Some agriculturally important fungi are not sensitive towards members of the new generation of ubiquinin type inhibitors. Role in disease The fundamental role of succinate coenzyme Q reductase in the electron transfer chain of mitochondria makes it vital in most multicellular organisms. Removal of this enzyme from the genome has also been shown to be lethal at the embryonic stage in mice. SDHA mutations can lead to Lee syndrome mitochondrial encephalopathy, and optic atrophy. SDHB mutations can lead to tumorogenesis in chromaffin cells, causing hereditary paraganglioma and hereditary pheotromocytoma. 
tumors tend to be malignant. It can also lead to decreased lifespan and increased production of superoxide ions. SDHC mutations can lead to decreased lifespan, increased production of superoxide ions, hereditary paraganglioma and hereditary pheotromocytoma. Tumors tend to be benign. These mutations are uncommon. SDHD mutations can lead to hereditary paraganglioma and hereditary pheotromocytoma. Tumors tend to be benign, and occur often in the head and neck regions. These mutations can also decrease lifespan and increase production of superoxide ions. Mammalian succinate dehydrogenase functions not only in mitochondrial energy generation, but also has a role in oxygen sensing and tumor suppression. And, therefore, is the object of ongoing research. See also, SDHA, SDHB, SDHC, SDHD, fumarate reductase. References